it's very critical to understand the differences between the end of dieting and other diet books. The book discusses how dangerous it is to diet incorrectly. And we've been bombarded with false information about dieting, whether it's low fat, high carbohydrate, low protein, high protein. You know, some of the most popular diets have been these high protein diets like Atkins, Ducan, the paleo diet, you know, the wheat belly, these diets that are, are telling people that grains are bad, carbohydrates are bad, so in place, remove those for your diet and eat more animal products. They're fads because people do it for a period of time and they jump from one diet to another thinking what'll work best for them. And the reality is, is that 98% of people don't wind up losing weight long term. And to, you have to recognize that you don't get any long-term health benefits from short-term weight loss. You only get a long-term health benefit from weight that you lose and keep off for the rest of your life. Calorie counting never works because people aren't paying attention to the major driver of appetite, which is nutrient levels of the body, micronutrient levels that are coming into the body. So you take a diet that's already um, micronutrient deficient and you cut back on calories even more which makes you more micronutrient deficient. When you become more micronutrient deficient then you get more cravings, more food addictions, more perverted desire to overeat food and it promotes more weight gain as well. And you restrict calories it promotes fat storage hormones that stay elevated and make simpler foods that didn't cause weight, weight gain in the past now more likely to cause weight gain. You have to get the body to desire the amount of calories you require. And the only way you can do that is eating a diet that's micronutrient adequate. The book, The End of Dieting, not only explains to you the benefits of the foods I want you to eat, it makes it so it's doable and practical and delicious.